Because I'll probably be coming in late again. So I'm just trying to get the ones for Pierce. Good morning, Dean. Say when. Say when. You didn't say when. That's when. So <laughs>
We have a second collection today that will be for Catholic Charities. Please stand. Our opening hymn is We Gather Together.
Let us pray for ourselves and let us pray for others. Grant, O oh Lord, that we always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive you for you never deprive of your guidance. Those who set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you and Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
is God, the gracious gift of one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to many. The word of the Lord. Thanks to me, God. Like, 
bunch of these uh, lizard creatures. They were kind of ugly with bang, bangs coming out. They're baby dragons. I think they'd scare anything away. I saw a movie once today. I hope you all have seen it. Uh, Epion came out a long time ago where some of you were born. Well, the beginning of the movie, but it's not the beginning, after they go to one of the worst places possible, Devil's Island, it was what I like to call it, the Rector's Island of the Caribbean. Very bad place. Thank God for the pictures, they close the place down. But a part of the beginning, the commandant comes out, and he's uh, there, <clears throat> I will destroy you physically. I will destroy you mentally. I will destroy you spiritually. And I thought to myself, how can you destroy somebody spiritually? It's kind of hard to do. One of the greatest saints that ever lived was St. John of the Cross, San Juan de la Cruz. Famous saint, uh, mystic. They always say the best way to read his works is to read them in Spanish. I've tried reading in English, and it's very heady and all that. Just imagine, he was a priest, he was a monk, and the people of his Carmelite order, he tried to reform it. It's one of the roughest things to do, try to reform a witch's order. They threw him in the ecclesiastical prison. They took him out every night and whipped him in front of the community. Uh, he buried his back, and depends, every member of the community would come up and get a lick at him. Depends how much you liked him or not, and they would uh, hit him. In that, he wrote the famous work, Dark Night of the Soul. There's all kind of fear around. People are afraid to do this, afraid of my, uh, different minority groups, afraid of different ethnic groups. You don't trust somebody. We live in constant fear. In the gospel today, it says, are not two sparrows sold for a small coin, and not one of them falls to the ground without your Heavenly Father's knowledge. I think it's kind of interesting. At my residence, I would want to play Murray. We should call it Murray here. <laughs> I would like to put a little French in it. Murray sounds cool. It's Murray, I know. Murphy or whatever. I uh, like that. So, uh, and outside, there's, see if I can say the word, the Cynthia, I said it right, bush. And it seems like these mockingbirds build their nests. And it's kind of neat watching them do it and look at you and all the other birds coming there. Of course, the mockingbirds scare everybody else away, especially when they're nesting, when they're uh, giving birth to young. The laying eggs, that seems like they keep uh, always laying eggs there all the time. And it's kind of neat watching that. And, and Jesus said, we are worth more than that. That not one of them ever falls to the earth without the Heavenly Father knowing about it. So just think of that. What was one of the first things they said when 9 11 happened? Who is in charge? God is in charge. So what do you have to fear about? I know it's easier said than done. We all have our fears. We're going to be, some people tell me, I'm one paycheck away from being homeless or going with all this going on right now. Do I have security? How many businesses have been closed? How many restaurants? Are shut down, especially up north. Thank God they're open down. They're starting to open down here. But up north, how many places are closed? And, and a lot of churches are not even open, especially in New York City. But we need to put our trust in God. And sometimes it's hard to do, but it's, that's what we're supposed to be about. Remember the famous expression, we want by faith. Not by sight, not by light. We walk by faith. And I remember this old man years ago told me this one story about uh, how to have a successful life, how to the secret of a long life. 
He says, be your own true age, but have a fresh, young mind. Be your own true age and have a fresh, young mind. That we need not be looking at the clock. We need not curse the dawn, but praise the beginning of a new day. A new adventure. You got optimists and pessimists. You know the optimists say it's half full, or the pessimist says it's half empty. Or then you have the people who say, uh, good God, it's morning. Or thank God, it's morning. Another day. Another day to begin a new life. Another day that we have the beauty of celebrating the gift. God has given us the gift of life. And so let us realize that it's kind of hard for me to say this. <laughs> Even the hairs of our head are numbered. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than sparrows or mockingbirds, whatever. <laughs> Please stand. Let us make our profession of faith. As we say, as a belated community. I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true to God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, who in all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, he came out of heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who was in part of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious side. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and the glory of his scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have. Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and the Catholic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the Lord will come. Amen. Prayer the community when it's time to bring our prayers and petitions before the stable of the Lord. Ask our Lord to accept and to grant them. That our Holy Father, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, more joyfully and effectively proclaim the grace of God that brings us salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the giving mercy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our president, Congress, and courts, that they may carry out their duties with reverence for God and his unchanging law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That God, who rescues the life of the helpless, may enable us to rescue children from abortion, the sick from euthanasia, the criminal from capital punishment, and the poor from starvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are fathers, that on this Father's Day they may be affirmed and strengthened in their calling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That Christians who are persecuted for their faith may grow in the courage to acknowledge Christ in the presence of others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may be healed, the dying in soul, and the departed walking into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let us pray for the living and deceased members of this parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for people we don't, a lot of people don't think about. Truck drivers who will bring us our food, bring us our supplies, bring us our papers, bring us whatever that God will bless them as they risk their lives doing this for us, 
and also the EMT people, medical people, law enforcement, the people in uh, prisons. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Okay, let us pray for the people who are incarcerated. It's been a while since they've had services, and they're still under pretty much, I mean, they're already under quarantine, they're already incarcerated, but they're also doubly under quarantine. So let us pray for them that they'll be able to soon be able to have the religious services. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let's pray for the poor souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for those who live in fear and don't have any faith whatsoever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, with confidence we bring our prayers before you. We ask you to accept and to grant them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
those called to the supper of the Lamb.
blood of your Son. We ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate in constant devotion may be may be our short pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just one announcement, everybody wants to go to the sacrament of reconciliation. I'll be doing it before the next Mass and actually after the next Mass too. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and grow the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. Now go out and make it a great day. Say, my Lord, you are a king, Joel, defend us in battle. You are protection against the wicked.